Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 at Oliver Lee State Park in New Mexico. Fixing to be on the road again today. Today is a brand new month and I got my antenna all sticking up so that I'm in tune with the universe. And uh, what else? Uh, yeah, on the road again, we're going to be going to Oliver Lee State Park for a week and then we'll come back up here and we're going to go to uh, RV Park out in the boonies. And I'll tell you more about that in a video I'm going to post today at noon. And so you'll be up to date with everything. And also, I want to give a shout out, a big shout out to Terry and Trish from Oklahoma. They came by yesterday and visited for a while and enjoyed the visit. Came by right at Beer 30 and we solved all the problems of the universe. So if y'all have any issues today, well, that surprises me because I think we got every single thing. So good morning, Terry and Trish, and enjoy your travels in New Mexico and enjoy your life one day at a time so what else can i tell you i've been full-time RVing a long time everybody knows that and also today is the last day of the joke books they're going to be retired today and put somewhere else because they keep falling off the table when i travel and i've read just about every joke in here uh anyway this this is one here it says uh I randomly keep shouting out broccoli and cauliflower. Think I might have florets. Okay. The worst time to have a heart attack is playing charades. <laughs> That'd be funny. I used to be a banker, but over time I lost interest. Yeah. But anyway, <clears throat> these are going to be retired today because I've read several jokes and we're just going to use the Google Home corny jokes, and that's the way that goes because it takes up too much space on my table and other things because I don't have a lot of space. Anyway, having said that, hey, Google, make us laugh. Why did the baker become a thief? Because he needed the dough. Needed the dough? That's, that's a, you know, that's a smooth one there. That's all right. Not bad. And, uh, hey, Google. What's the temperature in Alamogordo, New Mexico? In Alamogordo, it's currently 70 degrees. So that means out there on that, and the hills out there where I'll be, it's about 65. High today looks like it's going to be up in the low 80s, which is muy bueno for old Rusty. So let's move along here, guy, and get some of these commentes done. Yeah, I, just as a uh, last thought yesterday evening, I did that video on the sunset. It's crazy how things get views. Yeah, it was, it, then, you know, I'll, I'll read the comments and, and uh, well, that'll answer all your questions. But anyway, Daydreamer says, oh, just give me some of that beautiful piece. Very nice. Thank you. And then RB Living with the Geezer says, Rusty, I couldn't hear, hear a word you said until the very end. Ha ha. Oh, no, please. No, Matilda. No, Mr. Bill. No, no. Uh, there was no sound in it. You know, I couldn't think of anything to add. You know, I mean, how do you add something to a beautiful sunset? You know, I mean, I could have sat there and talked about all kind of crap but uh <clears throat> no man that, that was that was that video was just to enjoy the sunset and that's it sometimes some what well, you know the guy there's a guy that does a uh walking videos my hair is sticking up like crazy what it is i cut it myself yesterday i combed it all forward and you know we just cut a circle out of it and i cut it a little short and when you cut this gray hair short it just dee -dee. Anyway, i don't care it's the way it is Anyway, there's a guy over in Europe, in England, his, his name, the name of his channel is Watched Walker, and it's just him walking around with a, like a selfie camera doing stuff, and it's pretty neat, and, and there's no sound other than what the, you know, like there's some traffic noises and maybe some people talking in the background, but he doesn't say anything, he doesn't say a word, and, and I, I think that's a pretty cool approach to doing videos. Anyway, thank you, our being living with the geezer, uh, Patricia Reddick, <coughs> stunning, I like that word. Thank you, Rusty. Stay safe and well. Well, I'm trying. You too. Deb, love the golden hour in the desert. Yeah, me too. And yeah, where I'll be going, well, well of course, uh, Oliver Lee's got some beautiful views at the state park. And uh, yeah, and, and then the place I'm coming back to, the RV park out here, on the, on, it's on a ranch. You know, and, I, and, I, and one of my viewers told me about it here, I don't know, a year or so ago. And I thought, well, you know, it, it was open for a long time, and then it closed, and now it, they've reopened it. They opened it about uh, two or three years ago, actually. And uh, so, yeah, but it's a it's a neat place. Uh, it's in the boonies. Might be a little scary for some people. In fact, the owner told me a story of a girl from New York 
that had come there and she was tent camping. And uh, during the night, the coyotes came up, you know, pretty close to around her tent. She called the sheriff <laughs> and he actually came out. Yeah. Yeah. She called the sheriff. But anyway, enough said about that. Uh, Ralph P., I believe that trike man, I believe the trike man rode this trail once upon a time. Thanks, Rusty and the old goat. Yeah, I did. I, I rode that on the electric three-wheel trike. You, and you can. Yeah, so those of you that have disabilities and want to know if you can ride your your electric thing on there, you can. Uh, Ralph P., very nice sunset. It's a great thing that we keep having those. Yeah, no kidding. The news media is not involved in that. That's why. <clears throat> and politics and religion and all kind of other stuff. Carl H. says, simply beautiful. Yep, Paul S., I've had a really frustrating day. I needed five minutes of peace. Thanks. Well, I'm glad. See, a lot of people need to kind of de-stress or whatever you call it. Uh, dear, dear Trixa, this sunset beer, a cigarette, and last but not least, a beautiful girl beside me. Uh, I'm, I'm a depressive fool or something. Sorry. Whatever. Yeah, well, enjoy your life, dear Trixa. The, the last part is the best part, I think. Boondocking with Dennis. Got two here. Uh, one year ago today, you were headed back to Texas binge-watching. Well, thank you, uh, Boondocking with Dennis. Also says, absolutely stunning. Well done, sir. Greetings from Matt Agarda. Yeah, well, uh, greetings to you and enjoy your day. Uh, Dennis uh, has a channel, Boondocking with Dennis. He lives in a pickup truck with a camper. Check it out. Yeah, he travels around. He does good videos. Yeah, he, he has intros and outros and all kind of stuff. Yeah, Bryn, Bryn K, perfect. Yep, on the, on the sunset or whatever. Christina, actually it was a sunrise. I did that when I was at uh, Elephant Butte uh, State Park. Now, Christina Lexi Reef Tank, thumbs up to you. Lori Van Huser, heaven on earth. Yep, it is, it is, it is. This is on the new Casita Spirit Deluxe. I did a video of that in the showroom on, in Rice, Texas. Donald Brown says, how about the weight? 2,500 pounds. In fact, let me write that in there to him so he'll, he'll know. Uh, 2,500 LBS. Okay, got that in there for him. Dale Pointer's got our morning poetry here. Hello, Dale, how are you doing? Sunset colors, yellow, orange, and blue, clouds in silent motion, and birds flying through. Moments touching perfection, nature at its best. How wonderful to witness as the sun prepares to rest. Muy bueno, Dale Pointer. Buenos dias. Oh, I lost my place here. Whoops. Yeah, you touch this screen on this laptop and it does all kind of stuff. Anyway, Donnie K. Rusty, my brother uses the free Wi-Fi every morning at McDonald's to watch your comment call. He gets the big breakfast and two apple pies every morning while enjoying your videos. Well, that's good for him. You know, everybody makes their own choices. Enjoy your breakfast. <laughs> you know, that what he just talked described would last me, let's see, the big breakfast, two apple pies. Uh, that'd probably last me just about a week. <laughs> that's me. You know, that's him. He's doing his thing. I'm doing mine. Gardening with Elbert. A beautiful sky like this reminds me that in life, the best things are free. Well, if you don't have any cash, though, you don't have any dignity. You know what I mean? Need a little cash in the bank, and then free is nice. You know what I mean? Uh, CR, uh, pleasant evening at camp in me peace you are one lucky guy well you know if you work you know if you work at it and plan it and a lot of people call it luck and i guess that's okay uh holly bosworth i believe those are bats people no those were actually dove those were actually white winged dove uh jerry cheatham beautiful thank you james sams hello goat man goat did you say goat here comes the stinking screaming alien goat from outer space to give you a one-eared goat kiss this morning and uh, good morning, goat. Phew, still stinks. Anyway, says, hello, goat man. Have you heard in the news? No, I haven't. Uh, it says, it says uh, Dusty Hill from ZZ Top and Charlie Watts from the Rolling Stones. Uh, oh, oh, apparently, they passed away. Well, you know, they're getting old, man. Thank, yeah, there's going to be more of that. Uh, Dory and Christy. Yeah, in fact, even you and me. <laughs> Dorian Christie, speaking of government, something positive. I once met an IRS detective, uh, that's a revenue agent, d during my audit. Truly a nice guy. He saved me money that year, and the next two, I incorporated those deductions he showed me. Funny, my third audit, he investigated the government person who ordered my, my audits. Well, you know, sometimes, yeah, if you make a, 
uh, a rev somebody that works at the IRS uh, angry like I did one time, they, they can call in and audit on you. You know, they can kind of plug it into the computer somehow. But be that as it may, that's negative. Tom, Tom Flower, F F Fowler, beautiful, thank you. Southwest Sunset Seeker, good, good morning to you. New Mexico sunsets can be so beautiful that they bring a tear to your eye. Well, I don't really cry, but yeah, it's just pretty and peaceful. And uh, yeah, if you've got a nice, quiet place to enjoy them where there's nobody playing a radio or a television loud or whatever, yeah, it's, it's really nice, yeah. H-Hog 1, awesome. Yep, thank you. Dor I got a lot of comments on the sunset, isn't it? Some, or actually, it was a sunrise. Uh, Dorian Christie, why would anyone ask you why you prefer this view to living in a house? Amazing experiences you have. Stay strong, stay well, enjoy this life, amigo. The, this beautiful moment will stay with me. Good for you, Dorian. Yeah, it's a good memory. Doe, this is D-O-E, outdoor only. That's the person's name. Headed your way Friday, first time ever to explore that area of the country, Rudoso, Cloudcroft, Gila, uh, etc. Cannot wait to see such beauty in person. Well, it's, it, you know, again, it's beauties in the eye and the behold, of, of, of the beholder. Uh, any cannot miss suggestions for anything from groceries to eat to the best hike or natural wonder ever? No, find it out for yourself. That's the most fun, door, dough, whatever. <clears throat> no, just get out there and get with them and enjoy your life and everything will work out. Yeah, for me to tell you would spoil the fun. Scotty Thompson, cool video talk. Rusty, thank you, Scotty Thompson, the mass bowler from Wisconsin. J Joy 7, a beautiful stroll and tree. Safe travels. Yeah, the old tree. That was walking the Valley of the Fires. Stroker Ace. Yeah, I didn't get hardly any comments on that. Anyway, Stroker Ace. Uh, dang, Rusty, that's so beautiful. I can't help but be envious. Yeah, well, you know, you don't need to be envious. You know, there's sunsets all around, you know, and they're just as pretty as this, I promise you. You know, uh, no matter where you are, you know, if you can get out where you've got a decent view, you know, towards the horizon, uh, the, the sunsets are nice. Scotty Thompson again says, cool video talk. Thank you, Scotty, the masked bowler from Wisconsin. And this is adventuring art to you. Uh, t Texas lady, very peaceful. <clears throat> thank you and enjoyed the walk video this morning. Good. Thank you, Texas lady. Clint Price. Outstanding view, Rusty. Thank you. Well, you're very welcome. Uh, you'll see more. I mean, because those are videos I can do real easy because they're provided. You don't have to pay a fee to do them. You know what I mean? Uh, no, it's just an easy video, and a lot of people like sunrises, sunsets, and peaceful moments, and I do too, and so we're all on the same page, or some of us. Yeah, we got a good group of rangers. <laughs> Clint Price, out. oh, I read that. Paul Byram, the second, very well done and timely. Peace video on the day the war ended. Thank you, Rusty, for that. Pismo Paul. Yeah, that's true. Uh, WTBM123, cool. Uh, Jim Christensen says, peace, P-E-A-C-E. -E. Yeah, if we, if, we waged, if we waged peace like we wage war, there would be no wars. You know, if we spend as much money making peace or, you know, trying to bring cultures together, and balancing the use of resources. That's what causes wars, greed. and uh, But be that as it may, waste a waste breath. Uh, TB says, peace, Rusty, same to you. Jim Christensen, beautiful, a wiener, W-E-I-N-E-R, thank you, Jim. Mark Reynolds, <coughs> beautiful little sunset, Rusty, okay, thank you. You know, sunrise and sunset, you can't tell the difference. Unless, you know, if I'd have kept going, the sun would have come up over the hill, and you're thinking, how'd that happen? You know, Mark Reynolds, beautiful sunset, Rusty. Thank you. Uh, Craig Johnson, how can anybody give that a thumbs down? Because I probably am the guy that kicked them off this channel and they're trying to get even <laughs> the only way they can. <laughs> yeah, you know, because trolls, you know, they can't leave comments anymore, but they can give me a thumbs down. So they get up early in the morning, boy, they hit comment call. Bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> Do I care? No, 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 no. Anyway, Craig Johnson. Oh, I read that. Steve Wheatley. Uh, could there be a better church than this? I think not. Well, you know, the church is earth, and to me, earth and just living. Uh, Diddy Holloway, permanent spot. Did you buy your Capitan lot back? No, no, no. This is, it, this, it, it, it's permanent in a sense. It's, it's a small uh, RV park on a ranch, and the sites are really huge. You know what I mean? They used a lot of space, and, uh, you know, it's, you got to go down a gravel road, and it's hard, it's hard to find. I mean, it's, it's not an easy place. Mine, mine is definitely not, not easy to find. I can't even find it myself, <clears throat> you know, but, uh, you know, it's just, uh, the, the rates are okay. It's, it's, a, you know, it's about a, 
to a grocery store 40 minutes, you know, from where, where it is. And is that bad? No. Hell, 48 miles a gallon, do I care? No. Uh, 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 Sonny Ross, thank you for sharing this gorgeous natural moment. You're quite welcome, Sonny, S-U-N-N-I. Scotty Thompson, congrats on 53K thousand subscribers. Rusty, LOL, thank you, Scotty, the mass bowler from Wisconsin. And all of you 53,000 that accidentally punched the wrong button. <laughs> yeah. Yo. Hello. I don't know why I keep, why do I keep jacking with my shirt? Because it's not level. I mean, the V's are here and you know what I mean. I'm one of these guys. I'm one of these guys that would be, if, you, if I was in your house, I'd walk over and straighten a picture. You know what I mean? Uh, simple me journey. Uh, beautiful view. Scotty Thompson again. Cool video talk. Rusty, or cool video, cool comment call. Thank you, Scotty. Uh, Shabra's well 42. Great morning stroll. Thank you. Yeah, it's a nice walk. Uh, will I do it this morning? No, probably not. I'll go ahead and go to Alamogordo, get there early, and hopefully the spot will be open, which it probably won't be, but that's not a problem. I'll find somebody else, somewhere else to park and tell the people leave. Uh, it's, oh, that, that noise you hear is the vent cover. The wind's blowing it, if you hear it. Gary J., uh, very nice. Thanks for sharing. Enjoy your evening. You too. Actually, that was morning. Uh, Brenda McChristy, like the, like, looked like a beautiful picture. Yeah, it did. And, and since I didn't say anything, people probably thought it was a picture until the birds flew through the scene. Ellen Dowd, this is all we can hope for. Yeah, you got it, babe. Hellcat Granny, oh, old Speedy. Good morning, Speedy. She says, lovely. <coughs> Remember Speedy Gonzalez in the cartoons? <clears throat> well, that's Hellcat Granny's brother, I think. Anyway, Jason's Texas Adventures. What a sunset. Love those birds flying by, too, with the mountains in the distance. Everybody needs at least a little peace and solitude in their life. Let me tell you this, guys. I do that every day for about 30 minutes or an hour. I sit peacefully and watch sunsets and think, you know, and, 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 and I'll focus on one or two issues, preferably one, and uh, and resolve it in my mind, you know, like put it to bed, you know what I mean? You know, like, how, what, what, what am I going to do? How am I going to do this thing? You know, and then once I get it resolved, then I can fold that page away, okay? You know, there is a little ragweed pollen in the air here, <clears throat> and it'll go away this month, And uh, but right now my eyes itch. Of course, that's ragweed. We have it in Texas, too, where I stay. It's the same thing. It's not like you can run from it. Uh, anyway, uh, Dion Swanson says, Ah, yes, sunset in New Mexico. I've said before that this is where I grew up. The sunsets were just beautiful. Yeah, they're beautiful everywhere. You just have to have a place to see them. Uh, we'll do a few more here, and then we'll shut her down. I need to start getting some stuff together here. Uh, not much. It doesn't take me. It takes me from from the time I start getting ready to go to pulling out probably 20 minutes, you know, 30 minutes if I go real slow, because I'm no hurry. I just want to be sure I get everything done right, you know, like, you know, let the brake off in the tow vehicle and take it out of gear and unhook the battery cable and, you know, those things that you can overlook. Tiki Tiki, thank you. I needed the piece. You're welcome. No additional charge. Uh, let's do three more. Uh, time with Eli, or Eli, Eli, I think. Hey, Rusty, I found a, I found you a few weeks ago with the booster picking video. Very good stuff. God bless you. Anyway, thank you, Time with Eli. Uh, welcome. UFO Bunny, just what the doctor ordered. Good medicine time. Again, if peace has an address, that, that must be it. Thank you, Rusty. Have a good evening. Carry on. Yeah, that would be it. That's a very peaceful little scene there. Uh, the Life and Times of Crazy Patrick. What a great New Mexico sunset. Yep. Galen Reed, the most relaxing five minutes I've had in a long time, Rusty. New Mexico has the nicest sunsets. Well, it, again, it, if you just have a view, they're all good, okay? But anyway, guys, having said that from uh, uh, Oliver Lee State Park, on a, it's a nice morning. It'd be a good morning to go walking because it's cloudy outside. And what else? Uh, thumbs up. <clears throat> Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you one penny. Just click on the link, go to Amazon, buy whatever you choose. And if, if you're going to buy something from Amazon anyway, you know what I mean. But anyway, uh, you know, do what you do. I do what I do. Anyway, we're on the same page. But anyway, what else? Uh, drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for it. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water. And you will not want to eat so much as in... Snack, you know what I mean, and uh, yeah, the only way to lose weight and keep it off, you know it and I know it. Eat less, that's it. I know that's it ain't easy to do, isn't that amazing? <clears throat> the only thing I can tell you is get a smaller plate. 
Okay, that, that'll do it. Get us eat out of a saucer. That'll cut it down. But then what else? Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? You bet. Do it several times a day. And then what else? Stretch, stretch, stretch. Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day every single day. Why? Because you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer, healthier because of that one thing. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. All those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which is every single thought you have. So, why am I doing my hand like that? Because I just do. And then, uh, what else? Yeah, uh, yeah. don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. You know what I mean. It's negativity times 10. You know, it's common sense. Don't watch that crap. You know, if you want to get a dose of negativity and kind of keep up, read it. Read the news. That's all. It just takes all the emotion out of it. Because when you get two of these guys arguing back and forth about nothing, you can't, you're gonna do, you can't do a damn thing about it anyway. You know what I mean? They make up crap, okay? Enough said. Anyway, uh, what else? Uh, <clears throat> accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative. Enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease. Carry on. Adios. Bye-bye. Hasta luego. Vaya con Dios. Uh, aloha until the noon video, which is going to be a real thriller from Manila. <laughs> That's a good sound bite, isn't it? Anyway, guys, enjoy your life one day at a time. We'll be on the road again. Carry on. Bye-bye.